Do you remember? Hey guys, we are here with Melanie and Darwin from the Honeydew Carpenter. I thought you said Darwin was here. Darwin is here, but he kind of walked off. He does that sometimes. Oh, he does and then, do that sometimes. And then we're just talking to his back. <laughs> Good job, Darwin. Right. <laughs> so we wanted to show you a little bit of their shop where he's going to be uh, bending the metal, the sheet metal that will be turned into the rocket stoves that you can purchase from them on their Etsy store. They still have the Aircrete creator, the foam generator. It's called the Foam Mate on their Etsy store. Honeydew Carpenter. Is it just Honeydew Carpenter? Honeydew Carpenter shop. Honeydew Carpenter shop on yep. Etsy. So if you haven't seen them for a long time, they're still here and they're doing lots of projects. They have their shipping container that they're gonna use as a mobile shop so that they can do work at other people's locations. And if they buy property elsewhere, they can take their shop with them. And what is the special thing that we're doing with the stove this time around? What's our goal? Um, it's just gonna be 3.0. It is the exact one that we did for a Kickstarter. And so the special goal for it was it be duplicatable. Because I built Julie's out of trash, out of stuff that I salvaged, an old air tank, an old um, you know, hot water tank, and I put it together. So I kept that same math because it works so well. And I'm putting it in a stove and a PDF that you can just take the PDF to any metal, sheet metal guy and go, make this right and they can bid up all the parts for you and then you can just assemble them and get your foam mate and pour air creed in them uh, of course it's going to be a special refractory blend that's going to go in it and voila you will have a rocket stove a portable rocket mass heater yeah yeah and so that's kind of uh one of the bigger projects we're doing uh in this and we're we're aiming this time to put it into the big house to test it in the big house to show the the big point about it in the tiny house was that it didn't bake us out it, it is a calm heat it is a consistent heat that goes through the night but it it doesn't get it, it in a tiny house you really have to be careful even a very tiny wood stove will overheat you very quickly but the rocket stove doesn't now we want to prove that the rocket stove can put out enough heat to keep a big house warm and also be able to cook uh. on it Oh goodness, I didn't turn off my notifications. Hey, that's Seriously? I'm I'm sorry, I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> um, and so that's that's the goal is it's gonna be prettier because it's gonna be out of regular sheet metal instead yeah. of instead of having been scavenged. It's gonna be out of this stuff. Um, it's a really heavy gauge, 20 gauge uh, sheet metal. So it'll be pretty. Yeah. And, but it's going to be square instead of round. Mine is round. Right. And um, it's just going to be cool. So make sure to go check them out. We're going to have more videos. We're going to try and film him pouring his aircrete into the Rocket Stove 3.0 here in about another week and a half. Yeah. So he's going to have it all bent, have the prototype put together, and then we're going to test the prototype to see if there's any flaws in it that need to be addressed before he has it ready to be put into his Etsy store. So if you're into to aircrete which is amazing i trust the stove so much that i have sick kids today and they're at home tending to the rocket stove i'm not worried my house is going to burn down because the the outside of the stove doesn't get hot it gets warm right. but you can have something flammable right on the chimney pipe and it gets to like what 120 150 max right and that's that's right your stove exhausts at right around 120 130 degrees Without creosote. And Without it's literally 2,000 degrees in the burn chamber. But it's shielded by but the But it's shielded by air creep. Yeah. And so, um, I mean, that part will get hot enough that, that ouch, underside. it'll ouch, oh. it'll burn you a little bit. But, yeah. um, but it's not flammable. But it's, it would never yeah. scald you. Yeah. You you would just go, ooh, that's hot. And to, I mean, it would. And it has to run all day for it to get yeah, to that point. Yeah, it has to run for a hours long time to get for that outside to, that to get point. hot. So I've got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old back home tending to the fire, and I really trust the stove. And I don't, I don't even miss a wink of sleep at night when I sh shut the stove down. That we're going to have any problem with sparks or, or that it's going to get cold in the night. It's just, it's what makes what we're doing really enjoyable. Well, I spent a night out there when there was a foot of snow on yeah. the ground, and. I was so amazed. I built the dang thing, but I had never spent a night with it. Right. I was so amazed after it sitting not 
burning for like, I shut it down before I went to bed for like seven, eight hours. And, you know, the pebbles, the aircrete, the bench, it was still all warm yeah. and putting off heat. And it was just, I was like, whoa. And it starts up fast. Kaya has taken over the fire starting part of it. She's 10. And a couple times I had to chastise her for kind of playing with it a little bit. And well, kids do that. Kids do that. Sticks but and fire. Yeah. After a week, though, she's learned we don't play with it. We can start the fire. And she's gotten really good at starting that fire in the morning. So. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So this is what we're looking at. This is their new shop. And so make sure to go check out their channel. This is their uh, their storage shed that is movable if they need to be able to work on it on another site. And that's what we have in the works. Make sure to watch for that. And Honeydew Carpenter shop on Etsy and Honeydew Carpenter channel here on YouTube. They also have an Instagram and a Facebook. So go check.